This simple Google Doc made me over $172,000. And in this video, I'll cover how I use it to simplify my entire agency to map out every single system, how I've used it so that other people can follow the process and just run the day-to-day -day of my business without me. And it's all using this one Google Doc. And if you don't know me, my name's Ethan Welby. I've scaled over 90 marketing agencies in over 50 different industries also generated over $4.2 million in client revenue. I'm a coach inside of Iman Gadget's Agency Accelerator. I'm currently building a seven-figure consulting company helping other agencies to scale up. So there was a point where I was running my agency and at this point we were making around $50,000 per month. And from the outside, it sounded fantastic, right? A lot of profit, team members, all of that great. But it was extremely chaotic. Every single hour of the day, from the minute I woke up to the minute I went to sleep, probably like 11, 12 a.m., was filled with work, with meetings, with messages, with tasks, with everything. And if I wasn't in meetings, I was either doing work. If I wasn't doing work, I was either answering questions on other people doing work. And it was just this constant feeling of, there's never any hours in the day. Like I had, I literally had no spare time. And to give you some context, this is, the first time that we figured out acquisition at this point in running the company and we scaled up extremely fast and the thing is i was very inexperienced in terms of running the business running the agency running the team all of that so we scaled up really fast we signed one to two to three clients every single week and we got up to 50k pretty rapidly but because we didn't have the operational skills because we didn't know how to actually manage the team build systems all of this it is terrible it is all over the place like we didn't have all of our clients data in a single spot so we we're trying to find it here, we're trying to find it here, we lose things, we forget there were actually meetings happening, it was, it was a problem. So it actually got so bad to the point where even though we were working all day, every single day, we still had clients who would end up leaving. And it was simply because it was so disorganized. It wasn't that we didn't know how to deliver. The thing is, if we had one client, we were able to get such fantastic results. But as soon as we got more, it was almost like trying to do the one thing that we were good at, at scale became the issue. So the issue wasn't that the delivery was bad, it was that we didn't know how to do the delivery at scale, it was the operation. And this is where most of our clients are when they start working with us. They know what to do, but when it comes to doing it consistently and having a team do it for them, that's when the issue comes in. So we ended up losing nearly all the clients on that side. And at this moment, when I had the spare time, I had this time to actually think, when we had less clients. I remember going on a walk and I discovered systems theory. So systems theory is the idea that every single thing in this world is based on a system. And there's a lot to go into it. There's a ton of books that you can read on systems theory, systems thinking, all of that. But applied to the agency, I realized that when I was doing it before, it was a complete mess. It felt like everything was chaotic, everything was complicated, everything was all over the place. But what I realized was that the entire agency is simply just a collection of systems. So what this could look like is there's a marketing system to actually get the leads. There's a sales system to convert the leads. There's an onboarding system to onboard clients. There's a delivery system for getting results for your clients. Then there's a hiring system for getting team members to do the things. And then there's a finance section to actually manage the finance. And the epiphany that I had was that this is the whole business. It's finite. There aren't a million new things that's coming up. It's like, if you can just optimize these few systems, that's the entire business. That's the entire business system. So once I realized this, it was like a switch just completely changed in my mind. And my immediate focus wasn't just doing the work, doing the work, doing the work. It was how can I build the system and then apply leverage to the system so that it can work without me and doesn't require my time. Because I realized that I won't be able to scale my time. What I tried to do when I got to 50K the first time was scaling my time. I only had a finite number of hours and if I got more hours in there, like I, I did more work, it would be at sacrifice of something else. So there's people who have eight, nine, 10 figure companies who work so much less than me. And it's just because they've allocated their time more effectively. They applied leverage. So what I needed to do was I needed to remove myself as a constraint of the business. I needed to de-link my time from making money. And that's what I did. I defined everything that I was doing every single day. I put it into a system and I'll show you how you can do all of this soon. I put it into a system so that someone else could follow. So there's three steps to doing this. The first step is to understand that the agency is a system, right? The agency is a collection of marketing, sales, delivery, and a few other ones. But then every single one of these systems are broken up into subsystems. So for example, if we look at the sales system, this is broken up into the pre-call workflow. So what happens when someone books in, then the actual call. So what's the script, then what's the pitch, then what's the objection handling. And every single one of these are subsystems. So you need to get all the subsystems right to make sure the overall system is good. And if the overall system is good, for sales specifically, you're gonna sign clients. And the same applies to every single other one. So the first step that I took in doing this, in getting out of the day today that you can do right now, I'd really recommend it, is to map out all of your systems for your agency. So let's say the marketing, sales, delivery, hiring, 
management, finance, all of that. Map it all out based on what you think would be best. And then what I want you to do is map out the subsystems of each one. So in sales, what are the major things that need to be done for sales to take place? Same for onboarding. What are the major steps that need to be taken to get a client on board? So it's, you know, taking the payment, inviting them to communication channel, all of that. And then what I want you to do is for every single one of these subsystems, and again, this is very simple, just stay with me. For every single one of these subsystems, I want you to document how you do it. Like simply put, how do you do the subsystem? So let's say the major system is delivery and the subsystem is reporting on the marketing campaign. Then you just want to document how do you actually do that? So it's like, okay, you open the client folder in Google Drive, you open the client sheet, you take this piece of data, this piece of data, this piece of data, and you put it into this you know, software that makes the data look all nice. And then you take this presentation, you send it to your client in Slack, and then ask them if they have any questions. And then you give them major feedback from the campaign. That is the workflow, right? So to recap, we have the agency, broken up into multiple systems and every system is broken up into multiple subsystems. And then for each one of the subsystems, it has a workflow. And the workflow is simply just how you do the thing. So what I want you to do is document all the things that you're doing, right? So when that's done, you can move to step two, which is using it for yourself. So an example of this is when I was first starting out and I committed to posting every single day on LinkedIn. And what would happen was I would wake up, come to the computer, look at the blank screen and then think, okay, how am I actually gonna do this? What am I gonna say? And it took me like 30 to 45 minutes to just come up with something. Like it just took so long to just think of an idea that I could do. And I wasted so much time every single day. But as soon as, you know, I learned about the systems, I learned about systemizing things, creating workflows. I was like, okay, there has to be a system for doing this. So what I did was I realized, okay, I spoke about these things consistently, right? I spoke about signing clients, I spoke about sales, I spoke about systems, I spoke about marketing, all of that. And there were a few key types of posts that I made. A lot of them were like before and afters. So like, you know, what I used to do before, what I used to do after, some were case studies, some were, you know, call to actions for my YouTube videos, sending people to YouTube. So I thought, okay, what if I templatized, what if I made a system around the types of content that I do. So I just had a list of that at all times. And I also had the types of formats of content and I had a list of that at all times. So what I did was every single day, instead of starting from zero, what I did was I just took that list, both of them, and I would combine them to make posts every single day. So what I ended up doing was it got so systemized that I would end up scheduling weeks in advance because I could just crank out posts so quickly. But this all started from documenting the workflow. So what I want you to do is whatever you're doing workflow wise, I want you to document it and then start using it religiously every day. And it's gonna make sure that everything that you do is so consistent, right? You're not doing different random things and then causing it to not work, which is something I used to do. You're just doing the same thing every day. And then once it works, you can move to step three, which is delegating it. So there was a point around one or two years ago when I first hired the operations manager and what was happening was I had all these client campaigns running. Again, I was still doing most of the stuff myself. I just got the ops manager on, so you know, he was still learning. And it got to the point where a client's campaign had to go up before midnight that night. And it was like 11.30, nearing midnight at the time. And for some reason, myself and the ops manager was still online. And I knew for a fact that I was not gonna be able to do this task because I just had so many other things to do. And at this time, I was so hesitant to actually delegate things to people because I was like, he, does, he doesn't know how to do it. What if he doesn't know, he's gonna ask me questions. And at that point, it is almost like a point of desperation where it's like, look, I'm not gonna be able to get this done. So I just gave him the task. I was like, look, like there's some training here. There's kind of like a Google doc process over here. Can you just like try and do this? And you know, I, I finished my task, the one that I had to do before midnight as well, another one. And what happened was he actually did it perfectly. And at this moment, I realized people can actually figure things out. Like people are actually smarter than you give them credit for. And or what I used to give them credit for. So what I realized was that there were so many things that I could have actually given off to someone else that I didn't. And that was the catalyst to me being able to delegate 80 to 90% of the day-to-day -day work because I understood that they didn't necessarily have to be super educated on the agency space. They didn't have to have 10 years in the space. They just needed to be intelligent enough to follow a proven process. And the thing is because like earlier on I mentioned in the video, we're documenting what's already working, what we're already doing, which means that they don't have to figure things out. They just have to do what's already being done. And almost anyone can do that. So the final step for you now, if you're following the process and it's working, what you wanna do is you wanna hire someone, ideally get someone in an operational role. So they're not constrained to like just doing marketing or just doing sales, just closing deals. They can do nearly everything. So hire an operational VA, an operational assistant, whatever it may be, and start assigning tasks that you're currently doing. And all of the things that you mentioned, whether that's onboarding, delivery, support, they can do it. They just need to follow a proven process. And this is something we're helping all of our clients with now. And that's gonna allow them to get out of 80 to 90% of the day today 
so that they can just focus on, let's say, content, sales, and really the things that move the needle the most. So if you need help with this, just book a call using the link below. You can speak to myself, someone on the team, we'll walk you through exactly what we do, how it works, even give you resources, even give you people that you could hire. And otherwise, I'll talk to you in the next video.